Today's topic of discussion is pharmacodynamic. Hello and welcome to Pharmacomania. I am Dr. Shanaz Malek. So, what is pharmacodynamic? Pharmacodynamic means uh, pharmaco means drug and dynamic means power. So, pharmacodynamic is the power of drug. So, what the drug does to the body, like uh, what is the mechanism of action of drug, what is the pharmacological action of the drug, and what is the adverse drug reaction. So, there are various type of the effect of the drug. So, first of all is the stimulation of, uh, it is the one kind of the uh, effect of the drug. It increases the activity of the specific organ or system. Like adrenaline stimulate the heart, causes increase the heart rate and force of contraction. Now, another mechanism is the depression. Depressing the activity of the specific organ like uh, alcohol, barbiturate and general anesthetic substance decreases the central nervous system. Uh, irritation on application of the drug causes irritation on the skin and tissue. Uh, so, it is called, it is uh, relieve the deep seated pain. It is called counter irritation. Drugs are eucalyptus oil and methyl salicylate, which relieve the deep seated pain, like uh, in the sprain, joint pain, and myalgia. Reflexly in, uh, increasing local circulation in deeper structure and blocking the impulse conduction in the spinal cord. Cytotoxic effect is selectively toxic for the infective organ or um, uh, cancer cell. Uh, antibiotics and anti-cancer cell follow the cytotoxic effect. Replacement therapy when the deficiency of the endogenous substance, they can be replaced by the drug. Example is the insulin in the diabetic mellitus and uh, thyroxine in the cretinism or the mixative. So there are two types of the mechanism of action of the drug receptor mediated action and non receptor mediated action so non receptor mediated actions are like uh, biophysical action or chemical action or through enzyme or through ion channel or through antibody production or through transporter and other these all are non receptor mediated action so, physical action uh, occur through the osmosis or adsorption or demulsion or radioactivity. So, ex osmosis accepting an osmotic effect, 20% of mannitol act on this in the cerebral edema and acute congestive glaucoma which reduces the pressure of the cerebral edema as well as in the eye. And second one is the adsorption. Adsorption is the activated charcoal which absorb, absorb toxin in treatment of the poisoning. Demulsion, which is the uh, cough syrup will soothing, produce a soothing effect in pharyngitis by coating the inflamed mucosa. And radioactivity, radioactive isotopes like iodine which emit, uh, raise and destroy the tissue. So radioactive iodine is used in hyperthyroidism. Now, chemical actions uh, through the like uh, antacid are weak bases and it neutralizes the gastric acid. So, it is useful in the peptic ulcer. In the metal poisoning like uh, iron, copper and mercury, it can be eliminated by the help of the chelating agent. Like um, iron is uh, eliminated by uh, administrating dysferioxamine and D-penicillamine is chelated with the copper poison copper and it is useful in the copper poisoning and these agents trap the metal and form the water soluble complex which are rapidly excreted in the from the body now action through enzyme which is inhibiting the enzyme activity like angiotensin converting enzyme drug like captopril and enalapril which is inhibiting angiotensin converting enzyme so it is useful in the treatment of hypertension and congestive heart failure Xanthine and hypoxanthine are oxi oxidized to uric acid by enzyme xanthine oxidase, which is inhibited by allopurinol. Allopurinol is used in the uh, treatment of the chronic gout to reduce the synthesis of uric acid. Now, action produces through the ion channel. Some drugs directly bind to the ion channel and alter the flow of the ion, like the local anesthetic, uh, block the sodium channel in the neuron, neuronal membrane and produce local anesthesia or action through the antibody production. Vaccine produces the antibodies against the particular antigen. So 
it is a formation of antibodies uh, through the vaccine like uh, vaccine against the tuberculosis or oral polio vaccine now drug action occur through the transporter some drug produces their effect by binding to the transporters example is the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor which is bind with the 5ht transporter and block the 5ht reuptake uh, so into the neuron and produces antidepressant effect other actions are like the colchicine bind to the tubulin and prevent migration of neurotrophic so these all are the non receptor mediated action now receptor mediated action receptors are a protein macromolecule present either on the cell surface on the cytoplasm or in the nucleus which with which the drug bind and interact to produce the cellular action so drug plus receptor form the receptor drug complex example is the adrenergic receptor like alpha and beta receptor cholinergic receptor like muscarinic and nicotinic receptor and opioid receptors now these are the various terminology used for the receptor mediated action like affinity affinity is the ability of the, of the drug to get bound to the receptor known as affinity now intrinsic activity the ability of the drug to produce pharmacological action after combining with receptor known as intrinsic activity now agonist agonist is the drug that is capable of producing pharmacological action after binding the receptor is called agonist agonist has high affinity and high intrinsic activity toward the receptor Now antagonist. An antagonist is a drug that prevent the binding of agonist to the receptor site and block the effect of agonist is called antagonist. Uh, antagonist doesn't have its own effect to produce, so it only block the action of the agonist. Now competitive antagonist has high affinity toward the uh, receptor without any intrinsic activity. So example analogsin and atropine. It produces by blocking the it produce the effect by blocking the receptor partial agonist a drug that bind to the receptor but produces the effect less than that of the agonist are called partial agonist it inhibit the effect of agonist but it's uh, it has having affinity but less intrinsic activity than the agonist example arpendolol and buprenorphine now inverse agonist inverse agonist having full affinity toward the receptor but produces uh, opposite action to uh, to the agonist example is the benzodiazepine is the agonist toward the benzodiazepine receptor and produces anti convulsion and anti anxiety effect when uh, beta carboline is the inverse agonist and uh, it produces uh, anxiety and convulsion in at the benzodiazepine receptor inverse agonist has affinity plus intrinsic activity between 0 to minus 1 thank you for watching the video